Hello and welcome to my Let's Play of the Monicon, a game I played uh, maybe six months ago and I enjoyed it so much I decided I wanted to let's play it. And the only reason I haven't gotten around to it uh, for that long is because I wanted to finish my Let's Play of uh, Castlevania Symphony of the Night. And it took me quite some time. I have no doubt uh, my Let's Play of this will probably take a while too, although this game is actually not that long. Nor did I find it particularly difficult at any point, but I did find it quite fun, like I said. So, without further ado, I'm going to start it up and this uh, will probably just be a lo load of cutscene. I don't actually remember how long the cutscene is in the beginning of the game, but I will probably be mostly quiet throughout it, so if you want to skip it, that is fine by me. And also my computer is not the fastest, it's uh, almost six years old now, so in the name of Saint Borbarad, his forbidden he'll do stuff pretty slowly. Power. Today is the day of the first paladin. From this day on will blood wake blood. Freedom through pain, power through will. Every human a mage. Upon this altar do I offer my tribute. Flesh unborn, souls pure and unblemished. In eternal Bovarad's name. Atoki Oruk Zulgarov of Zalaminja. Idis Raki Zulgarov. Almost twenty winters have passed since Borbrad covered East Aventuria with a pall of undeath and corruption. Those who fought were crushed. Those who capitulated became villains in their own right. Only those who fled escaped the endless column in which the dead did march from battlefield to battlefield. symbol of his dominion burst under the god's blade seven stroke out of the ruins of his empire arose the cursed shadowlands terrible warlords fought for power bringing fates far worse than mere death upon those living there and so it was that we too fled all your lives fled until the war goddess rondra's knights freed the city of warren here we might live, finally find peace, Chiron. We must not fail. She ran here. That's all I know. I guess she didn't like that marriage your father arranged. My family is none of your business. All right, all right, none of my business. C can I, uh, can I go now? Not yet. That gate, where does it lead? The deeper tunnels of Moloch Mountain. That's all I can tell you. Never dared going down there. Well, I'll get around. The gate is closed for a reason. Moloch Mountain is full of danger and dark secrets. The undead are the less dangerous of what's in there. Wolf lizards, demon spawn. By the Dark Mother, your sister could be dead already. Listen to me. I will go in, and I will leave. With her. And you can go now. Okay, here we are. Uh, I don't actually remember much of that intro. So I guess it's not very memorable. Let's see if I remember how to play this game though. Uh, this game isn't brilliant by any standards. I mean, the uh, graphics are shitty even if it wasn't for my shitty computer. But it, I had more fun with this with, than I did with Skyrim, actually. Let's see. Alright, okay. Let's see. I don't have any skills yet, so I guess I'll just do this the brutal way. But there are actually... The uh, combat gets a bit more intricate later on with skills and stuff. 
I mean, never maybe Dark Souls intricate, but a lot more intricate than the Skyrim. Skyrim, for instance. Fast as lightning, and just as foolish as your sister. Some of the uh, animations the actually get a bit obnoxious your arrogance will be the because they repeat a lot. Come on, Father. The only risk was slipping on their guts. Enough. We're here to find Calandra. Someone has to bring but her to her senses. I didn't really think that it bothered me. To her senses. The gameplay is fun enough to uh, asking her to be make reasonable. me forget. I would have done the same thing. So you think she's right to just run off? To risk both your futures through her selfishness? She has responsibilities. She has to learn. The game uh, story is uh, reasonably interesting. Calandra it's uh, nothing special really. It has a couple of twists. One that I thought it was a bit interesting, although I could I, I could figure out actually how it was going to play out. I'll, I'll uh, explain a bit more once we get there. And then you get the uh, possibility to uh, evolve the dialogue a bit. Uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to go with the whole more information thing for this Let's Play, because I uh, I already read it most of it actually in my first let's play I um, actually took a lot of time to read the dialogue options but um, I don't think you're particularly interested so I'm gonna go and make the dialogue as quick as possible so there will be a little less talking and hopefully a little more fighting for this God forbid. A virgin bride. She knows that. Hmm. Oh, come on. If he's so much <laughs> it's a bit of a fail uh, uh, clicking there. Protective instinct. No bloodshed, no blood mixed. That's family. You certainly drummed that into us long enough. This Still actually has uh, great significance. This uh, di dialogue part here. Just believe. Time is running out. I'm going. As you will see you soon enough. Yes, wait out here and protect my So our father is uh, useless in combat, and which that's uh, the explanation to why he doesn't come and help us. It's not like in Resident Evil where they just split up for no good reason. As you can see, he's actually got a peg leg and everything, so he's got reason not to want to. Uh, Fight will probably be more in the way. Do not mix your blood. It hasn't happened yet, and it's not going to happen this time either. Or is it? Spoiler alert. I think this would be a pretty boring game if uh, something that's absolutely not allowed to happen uh, wouldn't happen. Let's see. We get a lot of. Uh, let's check out the different buttons we got on the left here. We've got the inventory. Which is pretty s uh, straightforward. Let's see what we have here. Uh, you got your weapons and your armor and your amulets and your consumables, which you can bind to the different keys. And then you got your junk, which is uh, a great thing because uh, that's you know it's not something you need to save. You can just sell it. Here you got your character. This is where the real action happens. Firstly, you've got your main stats, which are also uh, split up into uh, sub stats. I guess you could call them. And as you can see here, you get action points or whatever they're called, which you can put uh, into furthering your stats. Uh, you've also got uh, something you might call uh, the equivalent of perks, maybe in Fallout. Uh, as you can see, it's like fast talk makes you better at bartering. Uh, you can also put it into the main here to up both of these. You'll see more of that shortly. Here you got different skill trees, and here you got your magic trees. So uh, we will look more into that once we get uh, there. At uh, here we got the the part. Firstly, you got the quest book. Then you've got yeah, I don't know what that is. Uh, then you've got the uh, codex, which basically gives you more information about the 
different uh, things that you encounter and the more you've got in lore, the more information you get actually, which could encompass things as uh, how to better damage certain enemies, for instance, if they've got weaknesses and things. Something that I really liked about this game was that every uh, sub-skill, so to speak, here, all these, legend lore, plant lore, medicine, perception, fast talk, haggle, pick locks, blacksmith, I thought they were all useful, you actually wanted them all. The only one I thought was a little bit less good was haggle. I'll show you, there is actually uh, they've actually put a lot of stuff around that makes it worthwhile to spend points in. Okay, Q to parry. Can't remember ever doing that, but we'll see. Okay, let's parry there, right there. Um, just to get enough money so that you don't actually need to haggle. But as for the other things, you find some runes. Freedom through pain. Yeah, that, that sounds like it's not my cup of tea, actually. If you decide that you want to focus on plant lore, you'll find loads of stuff that requires blacksmithing, for instance. Uh, so uh, you'll definitely end up feeling like you want all of the sub skills as high up as possible so you can't jump in this game but that's not something you're gonna need fortunately this game is completely devoid of platforming segments which is just uh, welcome power through will <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm supposed to remember these things there are some minor puzzle elements in this game hold space to dodge Alright, that this is gonna get uh, be important actually. As you can see, you get these tells, and you, I mean, these enemies are not difficult. But later on, there will definitely be reason to do this. I mean, these tells, you can see them a mile away. Not only that, they basically give you like. <coughs> okay, I'm rolling like a tod now. Just move. Um, I'll give you like several seconds to, to read the tale as well. But yeah, dodging is gonna get useful, but uh, the combat isn't too difficult. But I like that it's uh, a bit more challenging than just swinging your sword. It, it doesn't seem like it in the beginning like this, but later on you'll get more skills and stuff. Every human a mage, great. So that's what we're getting here then, I guess. Uh, if I recall correctly, I had some sort of ranged weapon. Let's say use E to th use throwing weapons. There we go. Ow! You bastard. Okay. And using throwing weapons, they are unlimited, I believe. But they use stamina instead. So, obviously you can't just spam them. And you can upgrade your weapons, which is what you require blacksmithing to do, I believe. Your flesh, my flesh, your blood, my armor, my wounds, your pain. Uh, does this sound good? Wait. Let's see. Nothing here. Let me see if how you save. Oh, right. I think you don't save in this game. Uh, you just kind of get this... Uh, Auto saving going on. Wait, wait, wait. My keyboard messed up there. It does that sometimes. That was um, materials for. Oh, great. We got some sort of Cthulian going on there. You get materials t for crafting. You can make your own po potions. With which uh, I think you need. It's not plant floor. Plant floor is for picking up stuff. You have received adventure points. Uh, raise the rank of one talent. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Okay, see, I need lock picking for this one, and this is how it tricks you because I also need plant lore to pick this, and I need legend lore to read this. Now, I'm gonna go with. Oh uh, wait, I need. Uh, there's a 
There we go. I need this blacksmithing to disarm this trap to get to that box instead. So they already off the bat they give you a uh, reason to want to pick several of these. But I'm gonna go with oh God, God knows actually. I'm gonna go with blacksmithing. There we go. Um, yes, I want it. Now I can disarm this trap. And I can pick this box and I get some crap. Uh, I have no idea what was in the other ones. Should have probably gone with plant lore. Um, legend lore is actually also fairly useful. It's one of those skills that in other games it's n nowhere near as useful as uh, say blacksmithing or lockpicking. But in this game if I remember correctly at least. Oh great. Already useful again. So, actually, not that bad. And you get action points or whatever AP stands for. Uh, oh, I got a combat move, nice. Mighty blow, like that. You get action points doing pretty much everything. So you're gonna get a lot and you are going to be able to pick a lot in most skills. But obviously not straight away, so the question is what you want to start out with knowing. Let's see, we have something in here. That's another... Oh, what? You need rank 7? Well, I'm not gonna get there anywhere soon. Trust me, you want to disarm the traps or you are a goner. There's no point in putting one, because unless you go the whole way, you uh, don't get the benefit of it, so... That's pretty pointless. You might as well save the AP in case you want to use it somewhere else. Sometimes I've saved it and then used it um, for a certain item when I, I was at it, so to speak. Like if I needed to disarm a lock, I, I had enough points to <laughs> get enough uh, lock picking to Calandra! pick it. Okay. Where are you? Can't really say that their facial expressions match what they are supposed to feel. <laughs> Don't let it get to you in this game, because, like I said, the graphics uh, do what they need to do, but not much else. And I'm fine with that. Okay, okay, okay. Oh god. It's uh, fairly generous with uh, saving for you. Uh, it's not like you've got this massive backtracking or retracking, maybe you should call it, to do if you die. That doesn't really happen for me. Okay, I think we have. Well, probably it's the boss, and this guy actually killed me the first time I played. That's because I didn't know how to dodge. I think. I knew you'd come. I knew you'd get yourself into trouble. <laughs> She's definitely in trouble. You need help right away. No. <laughs> look, I mean, look at that. I mean, those animations are brilliant. Calandra, listen to me. <laughs> Don't. Voice well, acting is. Uh, I mean, it's all right. You might mix her blood. Father and his cursed rules. If I don't bind your wounds immediately, you'll die. Please, Chiron. We don't know what will happen. Yeah, what could happen? Oh, Nothing bad, right? Or was it worth it? Just to delay the wedding? And with this man? Chiron! Don't be such an idiot. <laughs> Always the Joker. So it had nothing to do with the wedding. It's about all these people. That man kidnapped them. I think he wants to... Oh, that would be so terrible. Hmm. We must save them. Why is it he wants to do? Still. Ah. <gasps> Suddenly something happens, and I go even uglier. What was that? Yeah, something good question. Different. Do you feel it too? We can think about that later if we survive or whatever that is. You hold the fort. I'll watch your back. Can you fight? I'm tougher than you think, and after that, whatever it was. The bleeding stopped. And take this potion. 
you're more likely to need it than I. Yeah, so it took me a long time. I didn't take it because I thought that the monsters had trampled the bottle when they tore off my bag. It took me a long time to figure out how to bind items uh, or how to use Why items. Didn't you tell me about the healing potion. Not sure I know even still. Well, let's I check that. Really want to discuss that now. Forget it. I don't think they ever explain why healing potions should be so... Oh god. Where's... Just gonna... Stop fighting then, are we? Of course we are. And you have learned your first gift spell. Hold one and attack to use the ice lance. Right, oh god, oh god, there he is, I believe. This is really good though. You freeze him and then you lay into him. Oh, oh, okay. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Okay, I managed to interrupt his skill, apparently. Oh god. Whoops, oops. Don't, don't know what I'm doing now. Clearly using the wrong skill. Oh, I don't have enough mana. So I could use that once, that's not very useful. Oh, you have to hit enemies! Oh, I've clearly forgotten a lot about this. Yeah, you hit enemies to get their mana. Oh, wrong key. No wait, that wasn't the wrong key. I tried to parry that. But now we can do this again, and then we can do this again. And did I miss? Okay. I don't know how I died against this guy the first time, I think. No, I don't know. I really don't know. It's like I can't hit them when he's frozen, which I know I should be able to. Anyway, these minor enemies, they are a common thing in boss fights and they're really just to give you uh, an opportunity to get essence back. Oh, fuck me. So yeah, I've got the potion here. And it says you need to hold shift to use it. <laughs> it took me forever to figure. I think I had basically finished the game when I figured that one out. Oh, did I miss? Okay, I'm gonna have to use it soon. So let's see if that is the correct way to do it. It was, good. And it doesn't give you immediate HP, as you can see. Rather, it heals you over time. Move. We need to do a bit of dodging, a bit of dancing around. That guy needs to die. Fuck. I don't know how many times I do that. I try to uh, use a spell <laughs> to stand there like a Todd, realizing I don't have the mana to use it. Oh, fuck. Oh, nope, nope, nope. There we go. That's him dead. So yeah, he did kill me the first time. I think he's the only boss who killed me in this game. The last boss was pretty easy, if I remember correctly. You just cut down a servant of the Neverhells, and we're both still alive. The question is what he was doing in this cave. Uh, so yeah, you can. Uh, you're gonna see hard. soon. The no, dialogue between these two is gonna easy. get a bit weird pretty My quickly. My brother, the hero. Oh, mighty Chiron! Teach me more of the art of war. Your words are sweet as honey and as true as. Oh, I don't want to spoil it, so I'm not gonna Seriously. say too much. Just that uh, you might want to keep an eye on their dialogue. It was magic. Magic, because my blood mixed with your blood. I wish it was that simple. Time is running out. If we want to free the prisoners, we have to hurry. One more thing. I found this on one of the corpses here. A deed to a house in the East Court. You go around looking like scavenging corpses. Freyden Karstig, a fishmonger from Mendina, who somehow got citizenship here. Something here has disfigured him horribly. I it's guess it's really this guy. I'm gonna go with nice guy because that's just who I am. We're not going to enrich ourselves at that family's expense. You know what father would say. Chiron, we really could use that money to survive. Yes, father. Even in video games I have real trouble doing mean mean things. I, I'm just a bit squeamish. I guess. One day you'll throw yourself into a yawning abyss on someone else's behalf. And just to spite you, I'll do it gladly. Fine. <laughs> then 
let's get a move on. The kidnapper awaits. So this wasn't even like the main bad guy of this cave. Apparently there's another guy <laughs> waiting for us. And now we have gift points that we can use to uh, learn what they call spells. So we can upgrade this guy. And by guy I mean this spell. And uh, it's actually pretty good. I like the demonic aura. Didn't really use this when I played. This one's also pretty decent. This one's good. Let's uh, upgrade it. Why not? No way. Yeah. There we go. I'm not sure if it's saved now. Where am I going? I think I'm going the wrong way. Clearly a prompted message. Here we have plants I can't pick. Actually I might be able to pick them, let's see. Let's up our plant lore. And we should be... Oops. And you also get recipes to uh, do potions with, with plant lore. What? I need rank 4. Oh, well we can get this guy at least. And there are also a couple on the way out. I hope you can hear the screaming. Oh, that's not where I need to go. Because that's where we're heading. To that fun place. Okay. But before we get there, uh, I'm actually going to end the episode. Mostly because um, these files get too huge for my computer to handle otherwise. But uh, thank you very much for watching and in the next episode we're going to check out what is making those people scream so badly. And I think that's going to be loads of fun, so I'll see you then.